Hello and welcome on this tutorial series where I show motion design techniques for open source investigations, video forensics, journalism techniques, etc. In these tutorials, we're going to learn how to do this, which is a sort of visual bounce between a picture taken on the ground and a satellite imagery and pinpoint the locations and highlight one part to show that it's in the same location. Quick note, if you are just starting now with After Effects, uh, please check the very first tutorials of this series because uh, I cannot re-explain all the basics. There's a link in the description. Same thing for Ease and Wiz, the small plugin that I'm using if you don't have it. But yeah, let's start. Okay, so before doing any design work, what you need to do is to prepare your information. So this is the picture that I've chosen for this tutorial. It's a picture that, I've, that I took during the Yellow Vest movement a few years ago. And uh, so I'm not going into details, of course, about the OSINT, about the yeah, geolocate the picture, blah, blah, blah. I've done that work already. I know it was taken from this side of the monument. So uh, yeah, and if you want to know more about geolocation and stuff, I encourage you to check the the great Ben Du Brown uh, YouTube channel. And there is this tutorial in particular, I think that is exactly about this, like identify a location from a photo. So we know the picture was taken from here. So let's now animate this. So I have my picture. I'm gonna, of course, before doing any design work, I'm gonna uh, prepare a folder structure just to be organized. As I mentioned in the first tutorial, it's important to be organized when you do video editing and motion design, otherwise it become quickly a mess. So project, and we're gonna do a third folder for exports. So I'm gonna put my picture in assets, and I'm also gonna need this visual uh, that I'm gonna get from Google Earth Pro. Uh, and to do so, make sure to remove any yeah, like set set up your your thing like this. Usually, I I, I by pressing these two shortcuts, I make sure that because you can have perspective in Google Earth, but in this case we don't want we don't we want to be full vertical. So I'm gonna make sure I'm yeah right vertical. I'm gonna recheck the north yeah so I'm north south uh, axis. Remove any of these tags if you have if you have this on or these yeah do we want. We want the thing clean, so uncheck everything. If you have research here, also there is a cross. If you have search for Place de l'Etoile, for example, I think yeah, same. Remove it with the cross right here. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm good to go. So to export this picture, I'm gonna zoom slightly. Yeah, I'm gonna use this button right here. Make sure to uncheck title, legend, legend, <laughs> échelle, boussole, yes, sorry, it's in French, and check the full maximum quality, save, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in my asset folder and uh, press, uh, yeah, sat, uh, plus, do it well. Boom, now we are good to go. So I'm gonna go now to After Effects and I'm gonna import my two assets. And first thing I'm gonna save as, I'm gonna save my project, I'm gonna save it in project, I'm gonna do visual, put a fine name again because, oh, Visual bounce version one up. Ch check as well your auto save just to make sure. Yeah, five minutes is fine. Yeah, that's good. Just in case it crashed, you know. <laughs> and I'm gonna create a new composition. I'm gonna select the HDTV 1080 25 frames per second, which is the European standard. Uh, yeah, uh, preset. 
Semisigon is fine, and I'm gonna name that. So I use my name, I'm gonna do visual bounce zero one. And to start, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one comp actually for each of these, uh, which is gonna be a sort of folder where I can you know move things and you're gonna see you're gonna see why. So I'm gonna do visual one, same presets. And I'm gonna drop in it in Visual One. I'm gonna drop the, the the photo. I'm gonna yeah developing the scale parameter, pressing S, and I'm gonna just scale it right at the edges of the frame. Yeah, this is pretty good. I'm gonna do the second one, Visual Two, and drop the satellite imagery picture. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna move it, gonna frame it. And in fact, since I know that, as you can see, I wanna have a split screen. So, and this is gonna come from the right side of the frame. Basically, we want it on the left side of it, right? So I'm gonna anticipate that and just place it. I know that if I do use the proportional grid, I see that the half of the screen is there. And so, I, yeah, I'm centering between the center and the left side. And this is, this is where the point is, the pin is going to be. So this is, this is pretty good. Okay, so back to the main composition, Visual Bounce 1. I'm going to import the two pre-comps, the two composition in it. And the first thing we want, we're going to do is to do the movement, like the, like the, the slide from this to this, like the, the picture is coming from the right side. So. Let's prepare the element. So the visual two, which is the satellite imagery. Let's actually, let's add that just so it's clear. Sat visual one is big. Yeah. Let's put a color. Don't hesitate to, to yeah, name the thing properly. Add colors here. It helps a lot with clarity and it saves you so much time when you do complex things. Um, so developing the transform position, I'm going to push this away. Boom. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do the first movement, which is the picture moving to the left at the half of the frame. So same, I'm going to develop this. I'm going to open the proportional grid just to get the, this is the middle. I can see where is the middle. And I'm going to do a keyframe on the position and a bit further, I'm going to do the movement. And I'm going to center it between yeah, the, the edge and the, and the middle. So yeah, this is not bad. And in the same dynamic, in the same movement, I'm going to do the same with Visual 2. So Visual 2, I'm going to do a keyframe outside of the frame. Not f Yeah, just a bit next to the edge. It doesn't have to be right next to it for this one. And I'm going to go to the next one. I press the shift key to get some snapping and I'm going to bring the picture all the way to the half, to the half. Of course it's below because it's in the, yeah, it's under. So I'm going to bring this up so it goes on top and boom. Yeah, that's nice. Um, that's pretty nice. Only thing I'm, I'm going to add is I want to have a, a white line on this. So we're going to add this right now. I'm going to go to do so. I'm going to go in the pre comp of visual two. And basically what we want is a line right there. So I'm going to take the pen tool, I'm gonna do a quick zoom one zoom out. And I'm going to do first, I'm going to do a line and we'll move it afterwards. So I'm going to click one, hold the shift key, click below. So it do a straight line. And I'm going to make this a little bit thick, yeah, not too much, but uh, yeah, it should be okay. Uh, we don't, we want it white. So yeah, let's do it, but we can always change that after. So this is not bad when we don't see it. It's because it's outside of the frame. So I'm going to develop right here. Not, not content for now. Transform. I'm going to use the keyboard for that. Yeah, that's. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
let's make this slightly thicker yeah i think i'm happy with it um if we develop content which is the the detail of the shape we we've just made we can remove the fill parameter because we only need the stroke for this shape yeah so that's good to our main comp and boom we have our line so that's that's great um so let's look at the animation it starts to look uh, looks uh, to what we want, but we, we miss a bit of uh, of uh, fluidity right there. So, and to do so, we're gonna use the plugin Is and Wiz that I've presented in the very first tutorial. So there's a link below if you have missed this one. And I'm gonna put Expo for the type of uh, Is that we want. Apply. It gives. It puts some expression on this. And now we have a a slick movement, it's slightly fast, I'm going to do slightly longer, just so it's... Yeah, not bad. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, there's some quick framing, I'm going to... This, is, this looks not centered, right? So let's move this a bit more. Yeah, that's better. And this, this looks not centered, but since the, the marker is going to be right there, um, for now, I leave it uh, as it is. Talking about marker, let's, let's, let's bring the marker where the, the picture was taken. So for these tutorials, um, I have taken a, a marker from, from Wikimedia Commons. Um, yeah, there's, there are several. Uh, to make it simpler, I'll take a, not a SVG, which is a vector. Uh, vector style. I'm going to take a, a PNG, which is a the trans, which is a transparent photo format, and I'm going to take this one. This is the one I've taken to prepare. So I'm going to click there. Only thing you need to do is to do uh, attribution. I think it's Creative Commons, but you need to uh, give attribution. So we'll do that to this uh, person, uh, Chameleon Design. We'll we won't forget that. Um, so I'm going to download this, should be transparent. I'm, I'm going to download that in the tutorial, assets, pin location, perfect. Let's import this in After Effects and see. Yeah, it's transparent, it's perfect. So I'm not going to put this in the main comp, I'm going to cut this and put it in the satellite pre-comp so it's going to move with it that's that's going to help for that we could use parenting as well if you have if you're familiar with it but maybe not in this case um i'm going to zoom a little bit to to be precise i know the location is right there somewhere so yeah that that, that will do the job and um yeah like, as I designed it in the in the example, I, I've put the the dot the, the circle here. I want it to be white. I think it's more elegant. So to do so, I'm gonna you could do it in Photoshop, but I'm gonna just do do it right there in After Effects. I'm gonna so I'm gonna precompose this. I'm gonna turn this into a, a folder a precomposition precompose. I'm gonna call that pin. Oh. And I'm going to go inside and I'm going to use the ellipsis tool. I'm going to do a circle, turn it to white. Okay, come on. Okay, go. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and I'm going to put it below just so it's. Ah, décidément. Okay. Yeah, perfect. And also for uh, practical matter, I'm gonna put it at the bottom, like so. I can use the the yeah the anchor point in a, in a bit easier manner. Yeah, because we want it to pop up, and then I'm gonna move the anchor point. If you are not familiar with the anchor point, yes, yeah, same. Check the the first tutorial. I think I explained in this one. Boom. That's good. So. If you if we go back to the main comp, you're gonna see that, yeah. 
So it's good, but we want the pin to 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 appear, right? To pop up at some point. So let's 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 do that right now. So I'm gonna first check timing. So we wanna slide in and yeah, right somewhere right here we want the, the pin to, to pop up. So I'm gonna double click, I'm gonna make sure the cursor is at the right position, then double click so it's gonna stick to the, the same position in the pre -call. And we know that it's from here that we wanna scale up the thing. So I'm gonna press Alt S to create a, a keyframe on scale. You can also do it manually, of course. And this is the final position, it's even a bit big. So the final position, I want it kind of like this, it's not bad. So I'm gonna push this further slightly and I'm gonna, for the first keyframe, I'm gonna put it to zero. And we can see that, yeah, it's pretty good. Let's play it. And we see that, same, we want velocity. So I'm gonna use, maybe not expo this one, I wanna use quart from his end with. And it should be pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty fine for me. And let's check how it looks in the main comp. Yeah, so to go from the main comp, same visual, I use the, the this is what I've done. It's, it's the arborescence of the, of, the, of, the, of the project, so yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit late and it's a bit slow. Let's so let's make it a bit faster. I'm gonna put the the keyframe closer and bring it a bit further as well. Uh, before. Not bad. Yeah, a bit slightly late again. Yeah, it's okay. I think I want to move this, like I think it's to be too much on the edge of the frame. I think it should be a bit more centered. So to do so, I'm gonna go back to the satellite comp and to move everything together, because now I've positioned the marker. I don't want to, like if I move the, the satellite, you see, it's, yeah, like it's lost. So I'm gonna make sure to attach with the parent tool, the, the spiral right here, attach the pin to the satellite imagery not this, because this stays at this, at this position. Let's call this bar. Yeah, it stays on top. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna, I can move the satellite imagery slightly like this. And yeah, I think now it's a little bit better. Yeah, it's a bit more centered. It's a bit, in fact, it's too much to the left. So just slightly, sorry, I'm a bit uh, <laughs> perfectionist. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Okay, next thing, let's do. Let's look at our animation. So we are almost there, right? Like, we, what we only miss now is the the cone and the and the tag. Let's start by the cone. Um, it's the same. I'm gonna go inside the satellite composition. And to do the cone, let's we do a simple one. Of course, there is other ways of doing it, but let's do a simple one. I'm gonna go a triangle. Sorry, I went a bit fast. Let's do it again. I'm gonna go from the shape tool right here. Hold it. Ah, come on. I'm gonna take the polygon tool. And when I do, like you wanna hold it. When you create the shape, you wanna hold it because if you press the arrow key, you see that you can add a number of polygons. Uh, yeah, so, and on this one, we want only the lowest one, which is three. And I'm gonna hold the shift key to have a, uh, yeah, like a, to keep the, yeah, the, direct, the direction. And I'm gonna release the click. That's good. Um, I'm gonna move right away the anchor point. So from here, I take the Y cursor. Sorry, I go too fast. The Y cursor, which is uh, also this one. I'm gonna move the Y cursor, hold the command uh, key and drop it there so it snap. Yeah. And we're gonna do la label it cone. We're gonna rotate. And bring it right here. Not bad. 
let's let's put it uh, yeah let's press the t transparency opacity shortcut let's put it at 20 percent maybe yeah not bad let's put it below the the pin it's not bad maybe it could be a bit brighter and i think we're going to make it orange as well just to so it's a bit clearer let's put one of these orange right here okay and what's going on here yeah we have the, the there's a stroke in it so we're going to remove the stroke so i'm going to develop the cone content body star we're going to remove we're going to remove the stroke yeah boom so we have only the, the thing i think we can make it slightly bigger i'm going to press the scale s shortcut and crank it up slightly yeah, I think it's, let's look at the, does it match? You can see it's, yeah, we can see slightly on each side. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a reference, right? It doesn't have to be 100% accurate. It's more an indication of where the picture was taken. So let's let's say it's good. So what we're gonna do is turn in, when this turn on, this should come right after, and we're gonna do just a simple opacity trans, trans, translation, fade in. So to do so, I'm gonna, Check the opacity key, move it a bit further and put it to zero for this one. And yeah, why not? Maybe a bit further, yeah, a bit longer. Let's check. Hmm, that's pretty good. Uh, that's good. We need also to put the label for Place de l'Etoile. So same, we're gonna do it in this screen. So I'm going to do a text. Let's do first the text. So I, I take Helvetica for this tutorial, which is a very common font. Place de l'étoile, oh, Paris. And to make sure it's in the middle, um, let's bring the proportional grid and put it one side at the edge, one side in the middle. And it should set us up. Yeah, it's fine. Should set us up nicely. Let's check. Yeah, it looks good to me. And of course, the last thing we need to do is to um, bring, to design the highlight, the, the dashed the dash stroke that show the yeah the, the common element in each picture so how are we going to do that let's start to do it first maybe in this picture so let's double click to this composition um, let's take the pen tool and what i'm going to do is to draw the outlines of it if you're a bit lost you can zoom a little bit with command plus or you can also use this tool and use the by pressing space i can move the picture while still having the the tool right here so there is pro like there is a uh, yeah there is, it's not fully perfect but i'm gonna come back to it later to uh, to make it uh, better so first i'm gonna do a, a rough version and then we'll adjust it Ah, yeah, now we have a problem like this. There's a, the fill option was selected. So uh, I'm gonna go right here, content, shape, and remove the fill. And what, so what, okay. So this is something important with, when you do shapes like that, like if I click again, it's gonna, you see what it's doing. It's doing a second shape, which is not what we want. We want to continue the first shape we have started. I'm gonna cancel that. So what we need to do is to get back the arrow or use the V shortcut. V is the shortcut for arrow. And, and it, okay, this is a, if you ever get lost with this shape thing, like you, something you, you got interrupted or whatever, go back to shape path, you click on path and you have all the dots right here. And then me, what I'm doing is I hold the shift key, click one on this and click again and I'm back, I'm ready to go again. 
It's a little bit misleading, but yeah, yeah, this is the only way I know. So sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> and now I can continue my work. So same to if you want to make these kind of curves, you want to do click, hold it, and stretch it like this. Yeah, nice. Again, if it's not perfect, we'll refine it after. Like I'm going to do here, I'm going to press the Alt key and click. So yeah, it can look a bit misleading at first, but once you get used to it, then it's very it gets it's very quick. Like you, it won't take long to. Like it at first you're gonna struggle, but after it should be fine. Boom, boom. Uh, it's very difficult here. Let's just do like this, <laughs> and boom, boom. Let's see how it looks overall. Yeah, it's pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's more like to show uh, an indication. So if you want to refine, uh, same, you select the path, you zoom to the area of interest that you want to adjust. Let's say we want to adjust slightly. There is some sky right here. It's just an example too. And take the arrow key, press shift, click on the dot, and then you can move the dot right here. If you want to modify the, the curve, you can also take here and get the convert vertex tool. And if you click on it, you see you get the, the Bezier thingy. So yeah, you can do like that. If you want to just move only one, you press Alt and you can move only one of these. Yeah, it's not it's a bit complicated at first, but you'll you'll get used to it, I promise. Um so that's fine. We want in the example it's, the thing is blue, and to get this blue, which kind of match with the orange, like it's a, there's a nice echo to it like it's uh, I used this tool which is Adobe color if you google Adobe color you will find it and it's good because when you have one color you can find some complementary colors it gives you some uh, if you need a quick color for something it's usually a good a good solution there is probably others but I use this one so we're gonna get our orange let's get one of these I'm gonna copy the code and I'm going to paste it right here enter and it gives me a few colors that kind of match with it and um, yeah I like this blue so I'm going to take this blue and so uh, I've lost here I'm there my shape this is the stroke let's name it and to change the yeah it's white you can click it here but just to be sure we're going to change it more in the stroke directly parameter, directly in the parameter, paste it and boom, that's that's amazing. So I'm gonna add the dashes because we want a dash line. Dash lines are slightly small here, so I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger again. Yeah. Ah more. Yeah, this is this is pretty fine. This is pretty fine. So, so that's good for this one. We need to animate it. So I'm gonna go to add right here, and the effect to do so is trim path up. I'm gonna develop it and I'm gonna animate the end of it. Though the end it's it's 100. So I'll push it further and we want that first to be in zero and it's boom same we want a little bit of velocity i'm going to use this anyways apply in quartz perfect i think yeah that's pretty fine if you are not happy with this kind of glitch like right here like it's if you do want to fix it sometimes it's like here it's okay but sometimes you want to fix it you can usually move the offset Play with the offset. Play also make it make make the the, the dash a bit bigger just so it match better. Uh, yeah, and tweak this until it's it's fine until you're happy with it. Me, I'm happy with it <laughs> for this example. So um, let's make sure the timing is fine. So we want to slide, boom, 
boom. Ah yeah, this comes a bit early. I'm gonna make, we want one element at a time. So let's first animate this one and then animate this slightly, maybe one second later, should be fine, let's see. And yeah, of course, yeah, that's fine. And I think usually you will have a voiceover that will support this. So it's uh, it will be much clearer like than here on this example. Of course, we do the same on this one. So to do so, I'm gonna, just to have the same style, I'm gonna copy paste, copy the stroke, paste it right here. There's too much blue thing. Let's put it a uh, yellow one here, just so it's a bit clearer. Uh, and of course, the shape doesn't match. So I'm going to develop, and we're going to make, we're going to develop the shape. The shape doesn't match, but we do want to keep the style. That's why I've copy pasted. So I'm going to remove the path. So for a second, it's going to disappear. I'm going to make sure I keep select the, the shape, and I'm going to add another path. Basically, we're going to put it at in first. I think it must be in first, and then I can draw a new shape. We'll refine it later if it's... And you see, you keep the same style, which is nice. You don't have to redesign it. Let's just zoom a little bit just to make sure to adjust it. So I'm, say I'm clicking on path and then I click with shift and I can come and adjust it and make it perfect. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. This is, we just want to... And now if... We have worked nicely. It should animate. Yeah, perfect. It's yeah, as you can see, it's animating the same moment. So with the copy paste, we have saved us from redoing it the whole thing manually. You know. So. And I think uh, we're done, right? Um, let's watch it. What? Ah, yeah. It's kind of, it's just a bit. Yeah, it's the timing here is a bit long. So what you could do? There's four seconds of. Nothing's going on. We could bring this slightly just so it's a bit faster. I liked. Perfect. That's it for these tutorials. And in the second part, we're going to see how to do the same but a bit more complex with starting from like France, zoom on Paris, then zoom on Place de l'Etoile and then the same so and for this we will use geo layers which is a, a very powerful plugin see you in the next tutorials